So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today I wanted to show off my travel gear or my travel tech gear that I bring with me because this weekend we're going to go up to Jacksonville because uh, my brother-in-law is deploying in the Navy so we want to make sure that we send him off correctly. So we're going to be staying overnight for one night and I wanted to show you guys exactly what I bring with me if I need to get some work done and also have some leisure activities with me as well and I got a dope new backpack that I really want to show off to everybody. So without further ado, let's figure out what's going on. So the first thing we gotta talk about is what we're housing all of our tech and all of our gear in, right? So this is the Neo Smart Acme laptop and this thing is absolutely unreal. It's definitely probably the nicest backpack that I've ever personally had and so it's made out of synthetic leather but you still get that awesome you know, leather smell to it and leather feel. And that's what I really love about this backpack because it gives me a nice little like professional premium look to it. And it's so minimally branded with that little NS right there, if you guys can see it, that you don't, you don't even realize like what you're wearing. But this backpack is absolutely awesome. It runs a little under $100. I think it's at $90, $91. So if you guys do want to check it out, I'm gonna link all the items and the backpack in the description below. Definitely check it out. But again, this one is by Neo Smart, like made out of, you know, faux leather, synthetic leather. And it's perfect for this exact situation where you're going off for a weekend, going off for a couple of days. You're not gonna need too, too much, but you wanna bring all your essentials and maybe even some clothes in there because more than enough room in this backpack for a weekender or a weekend trip. And then in terms of overall size, you're looking at about 25 liters, which I think is the perfect size because I do have a 40 liter backpack, which I think is far too big, especially if you want something small, minimal, and compact to bring only your necessary items. So 25 liters is I think the perfect middle ground between you know, a little bit bigger than too small and not too big where it's overtaking your entire back when moving around and traveling. So that's the size of the actual bag itself. And if you open it up, it's got two main compartments, right? The first one is where we're housing all of the main stuff. So the MacBook, the iPad, and then a couple other accessories. And then that first opening actually opens up all the way. It just lets you lay flat. And the fact that it does open up that widely and that open does let you just kind of send it in through security when at the airport. So that's a nice little feature to have. Another cool thing that the backpack has is that it's got another zipper for expansion. So if you do want to stuff this thing full of whatever you need and you need a little extra space for the backpack, there's a zipper that goes all the way around, which lets you open up the backpack, I think another inch or so to add a little bit more space in terms of volume if you want to put more stuff in the backpack. And then after those two compartments, so you have the main compartment, then the actual zipper to enlarge it, then you have the, the big main hollow compartment. Now, this is to each their own, right? Because there isn't a lot in there, but at the same time, there's a lot of customization that you can kind of put in there and start to make it your own, right? So it's basically just a big space to fit whatever you need. So in there, I have my emergency tech travel kit, I have a couple chargers, my mouse, my AirPods, you know, things of that nature that I wanna bring with me, but I think it's also perfect for clothes, for toiletries, for things like that. So it's got enough size where you're all good to go in terms of both tech and then regular gear. So that is the Neo Smart Acme laptop bag. Absolutely love it, highly recommend it. I've had it for a little while now and it's been awesome. And they did actually send one more over that I'm gonna review a little bit later on, but I, that's a little bit bigger and it's gonna be a little bit more of a project to show you guys. But this one, super minimal, super simple, highly recommend it. So now that we got the bag out of the way, let's talk about the actual goods that's inside the bag. So like I told you, in the main compartment, so the laptop compartment side of it, I got my 13 inch M1 MacBook Air that I got when it originally released a couple months ago. And I absolutely love this machine. Very quick to respond whenever I need to get quick things done because it's got the M1 chip, so it opens almost like an iPad where basically you just open up the screen and then you're good to go and ready to move. So that is my laptop of choice. I do wish that I went with a 16 gigabyte RAM model, but, but eight gigabytes is enough for most tasks, especially with native Apple applications. If that's what you're running on, you're not gonna need more than those eight gigs. But if you do want a little bit more, then go to the 16 gigs, you know, make sure that you future-proof yourself with this laptop. And then right in front of that, I have the iPad Pro 12.9 inch from 2018. And this is one of the few times where I'm going caseless, right? So I do have my D-brand skin on the back, my Paperlike screen protector on the front. So channel sponsor Paperlike, check them out. I always, always say that make sure that you protect the screen of your iPad because it is the number one resell value item with the iPad because that's the way you interact with it most of the time. So make sure that your screen is protected. Check out Paperlike, first link in the description below. But then outside of that, I'm not carrying it with a case, right? I usually have my magic keyboard or something along those lines, but this time, we're rocking naked and I'm gonna see what it's like to just have the iPad on its own because I do think that's a nice little combo, the MacBook Air and the iPad together. But I still have my Apple Pencil attached to it even though it's getting a little less use now that uh, I've been typing a lot more. 
And those are the two main computing devices that I bring with me because I need to have them with me at all times. I do most of my stuff on the iPad, I wanna say 95% of my work on the iPad, and then a little bit on the MacBook Air, but I seem to have it for work. And then right in front of that, there's two little pouches, two little netted pouches, you can put whatever you want in there. I got my headphones in there and my USB-C dongle of choice. And that one is by Andabil. It's my eight-in-one USB-C hub. It's got everything that you would ever need besides a headphone jack. So you got USB-C, uh, three USB-A's, you have ethernet, HDMI, SD card, mini SD, and then another USB-A 3.0 just for extra speed. So if you guys ever need a dongle that's very reliable and very sturdy, Andabil is the way to go. And also Inatech makes a really good one. So keep those in mind if you're looking for an on-the-go portable USB-C hub. Not really an at-your-desk hub or, or dock, but more so a travel hub. And then if you go from there, we go to the actual main compartment. In the main compartment, again, you have pretty much just an open canvas of space that you can fill in with whatever you want. And then you do also have two little pouches, and in there I actually have my Lyar 90 watt PD fast charger, and it's a, a GAN fast charger, I do believe. You can do up to 90 watts on one of them or split it up into 45 watts each. So it's a great one to have, especially if you're all in on the USB-C life. And then next to that, I do have my Logitech MX Anywhere S2. That is my tried and true mouse that I bring everywhere. So those are the two things that I have in there. And then in the main compartment, in that big hollow area of the backpack, I have two main things. I have my Satechi stand, which I bring with me because I wanted to bring that with me, especially if I'm gonna have the iPad rocking a little bit naked. So if I do have a chance to kind of sit at a desk, I wanna be able to prop the iPad up somehow. So that's what that stand is there for. And then I have my emergency travel kit, which I bring with me pretty much everywhere I go. I have a few things in there that make sure that I have A, all the battery life I need, and then B, all the peripherals that I would need as well. So the emergency kit itself is made by a company called Ugreen. I found them on Amazon, no affiliation with them at, at all, but I actually, I think it's a great little pouch because it's hard shell, it's got a full zipper and a little handle too. So I think it cost me about $18, so it's kind of hard to complain about what you're getting there. So overall, like what Ugreen is doing, again, I just got it on Amazon, found a good price and it went with it. But then inside of that, I have a few things, right? I have my new Satechi power bank, which has a built-in MFI Apple Watch charger, also has USB-C PD out and then USB-A out, and then you charge it with USB-C. So that is my travel charger, my travel power bank. I have some bigger ones, but I don't like to bring them with me unless it's a much longer trip. And then I also have a couple other peripherals. So I have a charger for, I have another singular Apple Watch charger and then a AirPods Pro wireless charger, which is right there. And then on the other side of the emergency tech kit, I have my SSD, which is by RAV Power, 500 gigs. And then finally, I just have some auxiliary cables that I always need to bring with me, like USB-C to USB-C, USB-A to C, a lightning, and then a little dongle that goes from USB-A to USB-C. All a bunch of little things that you know I would need in a pinch that I have in my little travel tech kit. So that is the entire backpack. And then I also do bring my PS4 controller if I do wanna play some games on the go, but that doesn't get too much use, but I do bring it with me no matter what but that's pretty much everything that's inside of the backpack itself. Very spacious, I love how minimal it is. It's super comfortable. I'm very, very impressed with how comfortable it is and everything that you can fit in there. And I, ha I left a lot more space. Like I could have brought some clothes, I could have brought toiletries like I mentioned. There's even a front pocket which I didn't even put anything in there. So there's plenty of room to take advantage of this, this backpack. But that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. You know, let me know in the comments below some of the items that you bring with you wherever you go, no matter where it is, whether it's for a 12 hour day or a one week vacation. Let me know some of the things that you bring with you. And also let me know what backpacks you're rocking because I'm always curious to see what else is out there from a backpack perspective. But that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time.